Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I wish that every American could have heard the speech that was just delivered by our friend and colleague from Nebraska, Senator Ben Sass. It reflects his intellect, his intelligence, his integrity, his imagination. It demonstrates that he is both an historian and a visionary. It paints a portrait of where we need to do work in America, but also holds out the promise of making our great country even better. In his speech and in a recent op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, Senator Sass said, this country belongs to the optimists, the innovators, and the builders. Those words by Ben Sass perfectly describe the qualities that he has brought to this chamber and that he will bring to his new leadership position at the University of Florida. As he leaves us to assume the presidency of the University of Florida, I want to thank my friend from Nebraska for his service and congratulate him on this exciting new opportunity to make a positive difference once again. Ben came to the Senate in 2015 with a remarkable record of accomplishment as an educator, consultant to businesses and nonprofit organizations, and president of the university. His work for the Departments of Homeland Security, Justice, and Health and Human Services prepared him well for the issues he addressed here. Consistently, Ben took a thoughtful approach that was defined by his commitment to the facts, his genuine desire to understand opposing points of view and find common ground, and most of all, his integrity. He's the author of two best-selling books that reveal much about his character. In one, he offers advice on how we can strengthen our children's self-reliance, work ethic, and civic responsibility. In the other, he provides remedies for the societal alienation that drives us apart and of which he spoke today. That infects everything from our local communities to national politics. In confronting these challenges, Ben does not scold his readers. Instead, he puts forth thoughtful, practical, inspiring solutions. Now, I was pleased to hear Ben mention today his work on the Intelligence Committee, and I have thought the same thing that he said today so many times. If the American public could see what went on behind closed doors, I think it would restore their faith in this institution because there are no cameras, no one is performing. Everyone is asking serious, thoughtful questions, trying to get to the answer, to the nub of a problem. And I have really enjoyed working with Ben on that committee. And I always look forward to hearing his very thoughtful, probing questions. He's been a leading advocate for improving cybersecurity to better protect government, businesses, critical infrastructure from hostile actors. He has worked to remove unnecessary roadblocks in supplying actionable intelligence to Ukraine to aid in its defense against the barbaric invasion by the Russians. Here at home, Ben has stood firm against efforts to repeal the filibuster, eloquently arguing that it would destroy 
the spirit of consensus building and compromise that are the very heart of the Senate. He was a strong ally in our bipartisan work to reform and modernize the archaic Electoral Count Act of 1887 to prevent the flaws of this outdated law from undermining future presidential elections. In fact, I well remember the night before we were to introduce the bill, and there were 15 of us, including obviously Ben, who had worked so hard to craft this legislation, and including Senator Portman, who is standing right next to Senator Sass on the floor. And Ben, being the thorough, careful senator that he is, had some deep, insightful questions. And I think I spent half the night answering them as we text and called back and forth. He wanting to make sure that we were not infringing on the legitimate role of state governments or state courts as we attempted to strike exactly the right balance. And at about 4.30 in the morning, which is when Senator Sass gets up, but it is not when I am usually awake, a text that I welcomed very much came across my phone saying that he would co-sponsor the bill. And I knew then that we had truly gotten it right because he is so thorough in his approach and I knew that he had read every single word. As Senator Sass departs us, it is my hope that the words that he spoke, the advice that he gave us today, will fill the hearts and minds of all who have the privilege to serve here. As he said, now perhaps more than ever, it is our job to stop giving ear to political arsonists who would burn down our institutions and intensify our divisions. Now is the time for us to think together over the long term how we renew those institutions. Like Ben says, I am optimistic that we can do just that. It has been such an honor to serve with Senator Sass. I am grateful for his efforts to strengthen our institutions, elevate our national discourse, and bring people together while recognizing that we are always going to have vigorous debates on the proper path forward for our nation. I have learned so much from him. In a recent column, Ben wrote that America was the best home freedom has ever had, and it still is. Let's build together anew. I know that Ben says we'll continue to build toward this bright future when he leaves the Senate, and I wish him Melissa and their family all the best in this next chapter of their lives.